So when you're ready to set up your top plumbing kit, you're going to want to find four fittings that look like this. It has a stem on it and the push fit connection elbow. And these are going to go in. We've already put three of them in around the tray here. We'll go ahead and put the fourth one in just to show you what they take. So when you put this in, you want to make sure that you feel it sort of bottom out there and just make sure it's in all the way and that's going to prevent any leaks so that you know it's sealed tight. So we'll go ahead and clip that one in there. And sort of the beauty of our system on the top plumbing is that everything is quick connect fittings. You can immediately connect or disconnect anything in your system. So the easiest way to do it is with these two fingers you push down the small gray collar around each of the fittings and then with your back fingers you can sort of pull on this tubing here so you push in and then with your back fingers you pull out and you'll get the hang of it where you can do it really quickly so we try to have most of these pieces pre-assembled if you're buying a, a kit, an add-on kit or building your own uh, you know it's it's it may be uh, handy to watch this video and kind of see the way this piece is set up. Uh, it can be a little confusing at first but all it is is a plumbing system. All you have to remember is it just moves air and water into your root zone. So on each tip for this setup we have some arrow sprayers and for the arrow kits they'll have a red tube leading up to them so that if you have a whole bag of fittings you can easily identify which ones are which so everything fits together. And then the laboratory grade rubber stopper is what's actually going to seal the lid. Now these small mister fittings you can rebuild these so easily you just pull your stopper out pull the tip out and either clean them you can keep a separate stash of tips that you're cleaning one set and running the other set at all times um, so all you have to do is just pop those apart they're real easy to service so we'll go ahead and drop this one in and this particular piece fits right up in the front here so it's really nice to have the video to come back to and this plug is going to go right into this hole and this plug will go right into this hole so even if you start experimenting on your own and cut some stuff it's real easy to get it back to the way that we send it and for the back piece it's a little bit bigger it's the one that has four nozzles on it so the front piece only has two and the back one has four so we'll go ahead and plug that in the elbow here and same thing with the tubing you want to push it all the way in so that you know it locks in place and then you can set this up drop your plugs in where they go and it becomes obvious fairly quickly that which ones go where but like I said, you can always look back at the pictures or go to our website and get some confirmation that you are putting it back together the way that you want it to. I'll go ahead and hook up the other side. And with this top plumbing kit, you're able to do any type of plumbing, whether it's uh, air, water, you can set these up to run the uh, arrow nozzles with a high pressure pump or you can set them up with the air stones or you can put any of the uh, attachments on the end there if you have a certain kind of sprayer or mister head that you prefer basically if it will attach to a quarter inch tube then you can use it in this system so you're not limited the whole thing is about adaptability so we'll put this in together stopper seated in there well. I think I got these two reversed. <laughs> Alright, there we go. So there's the top plumbing system. Now, like I said, you can put different fittings into the tips of these. Um, whether that's air stones, um, you can put in a, a lower pressure nozzle. There's also a drip configuration, so if you're putting in an air stone, 
these are some of our natural wood air stones. They're 100% natural and they're designed to be used in saltwater aquarium systems. So saltwater fish are very sensitive. So these are really nice natural alternative. Now if you wanted to put this in here, you would just replace, pull the arrow sprayer out, take the hose out, and push this hose up through here. And then you could take this and put it anywhere down into the frog. You can have an air stone under every plant site or with the included kit. You can put just a short piece of tubing on here which will allow you to put the air stone straight in. And if you flip this over, we put a T fitting on the end here and we can attach a drip emitter. Now the drip emitters come with a little valve so that each one has its own control. So you don't have to rely on the water pressure being equal to each one. You can do with a quarter turn adjustment, you can make that either heavy flow or just a one drip every five seconds. Uh, you can really dial it in. They're really easy to clean as well. If you just turn your pump on and open the nozzle up, it'll blow out any particulates that are in there and uh, keep it from getting clogged up. So the drip emitters would actually fit onto an end here and then there's an included elbow fitting like so and another piece of tubing so that you can lock each one of those drip emitters down into the plant sites and then adjust the flow individually to every plant site and if you have plant sites that aren't being used you can turn those off and if you have some that have larger plants you can turn those up and get a different flow at each one. I'm going to go ahead and put this back on just the arrow And then one good thing to do with the arrow or with the drip system is to put a good filter assembly on it. The filter is really critical to keep those nozzles from getting clogged. We're including with the press fit connections on each end, 3 8 tubing plugs in, you have a removable cap, and then a 100 mesh screen. So that keeps the larger items from getting through and getting into your mister heads. And these are really easy to service. There's a couple of arrows on here that indicate which direction they're supposed to go. Now the filter is going to go underneath the unit, right where the bulkhead is coming out of the reservoir. And we'll show you that some other time. But this plugs in to the plumbing system underneath that connects all four of these points on the corners to a common plumbing port. So you only have one hose going back to your reservoir and this gets on that hose right there.